Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP EliteBook 8460P. These are V Pro uh, CPUs, pretty much they do sell them for the businesses mostly, but people resell them and they are really good processors, but they do come with a limited RAM, they come with a 4 or 8 gig RAM, this version comes with a 4 gig RAM, and in this video I'm going to go over and show you guys how you can open it up, how you can replace or remove your RAM, and and if you want to know your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop or PC, I made a short video on how you can find out your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop or PC. I'll leave that link in my video description. It's about one minute long video or less. And that way you can see it by yourself, how much RAM you can have. Because people are like, I don't trust this guy. I don't know if he's right or no. You don't have to trust or listen to anybody. Just find out by yourself by checking that link. And once you have your, you know how much RAM you can have, you can have up to 16 gig in here. All you need to do is follow the steps. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You want to flip it upside down. Also remember, once you upgrade the RAM, you do not need to do any other configuration. People ask me, do I have to configure anything? You don't have to do anything. Just plug in and play, type. All right, down here. You don't need any screwdriver, you don't need anything absolutely. All you need to do is first remove the battery by pulling these triggers to the left and then slide out the battery. If you have this one in the lock position, you want to un put it on an unlock position. Sometimes I see that they have some screws in there. If there's any screw in there, just remove it. It should be a Phillips screw number zero. Once you remove that one, just slide this trigger all the way to the back and you're going to see it kind of pushes this cover forward. You can see, look, I'll push and the cover comes towards the front. Once the cover comes in, just grab it and slide it towards yourself about one half a centimeter. It will separate itself. Simply pick it up and put it to one side. Now, right away, you're going to see the two RAM dims right in here. Simply, I'm going to show you guys how to remove. To remove the RAM, all you need to do is to pull the triggers right beside the RAM away from each other. So the RAM comes up, pull them away, and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. And then all you need to do is to grab it and pull it out in the same 45 degree angle. You don't want to yank it towards the ceiling upward, otherwise you're going to crack the dim or break the RAM. Once you get the new RAM in, make sure that these are uh, actually DDR3L RAM. You can put a DDR3 normal, but I recommend you guys grab a DDR3L. That means it's a low voltage. I'll leave the link in the video description for compatible ones. Make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the dim, which is right there. So you want to bring it down in 45 degree as you're landing a plane. 45 degree toward the jack. And then you just simply want to press in the middle towards the motherboard. You want to hear these two tiny clicks. Last day, I'll get the new RAM. I have an 8 gig right here. So I'm going to grab the 8 gig. Make sure the notch matches. It doesn't have to be the same color or anything like that. As long as the DDR3L. 45 degree towards the dim. And I'm going to push it towards the other RAM. And there we have the clicks right there. Once they, uh, this hinges stay straight, that means the RAM is in place. Once you have the new RAM in there, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, put it in an offset position, and then slide it towards the connector and just lock it in place. Grab the battery and put it right in there. Now, once you power on, it might take to five to 10 seconds to you get on the screen, but if you don't get anything, any boot screen after five to 10 seconds, don't worry, just remove the cover, replace the RAMs, Put the new RAM on the bottom, power on. Once you get the screen, power off and place the old RAM and then put on and wait 5 to 10 seconds. It does work most of the time and that's how you can upgrade the RAM easily on these models. I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If it did, please click the like and subscribe. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next videos.